Lesson 2.2e, Comparing Very Large Numbers in the Real World, Scientific Notation. Using scientific notation can help us compare very large numbers. We look at the number with the greatest exponent in the power of 10. We can quickly see that we have 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the third power, and 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the fourth power. Well, 3 is less than 4, so 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the third power is the lesser number. And if their powers of 10 are the same, we compare their multiplicands. We have 2 and 5 tenths times 10 to the fourth power, and 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the fourth power. Both are raised to the fourth power. We compare the multiplicands. 2 and 5 tenths and 2 and 4 tenths. Well, this is 25,000 and this is 24,000. We know 2 and 5 tenths is greater than 2 and 4 tenths. This is the greater number. So as we learned in the previous lesson, 2.2d, the first number in a multiplication equation is the multiplicand. It's multiplied by the multiplier and they equal the product. When the exponents are the same, we compare multiplicands. We compare this number. The average mass of an adult male African elephant is about 7 times 10 to the third power kilograms. And the average mass of an adult male cheetah is about 7 times 10 to the first power kilograms. About how many times greater is the mass of an adult African elephant than an adult male cheetah? First thing we do is compare powers of 10. We've got 10 raised to the third power and 10 raised to the first power. We use the quotient rule and subtract. We have 10 raised to the 3 minus 1, which gives us 10 raised to the second power. Then we compare the multiplicands. They both have 7 as their multiplicand, and 7 over 7, same numerator and denominator, that's equal to 1. An adult male African elephant is about 1 times 10 raised to the second power, or 100 times greater than an adult male cheetah. To determine the number of times greater one quantity in scientific notation is than another, we first compare their powers of 10, then compare the multiplicands if their powers of 10 are the same. We have 3 times 10 raised to the fifth power and 4 times 10 raised to the fifth power. Same power of 10, so we compare multiplicands. 3 is less than 4, we know that we need to put a less than symbol there. Let's try another one. For humans, an adult has about 4 and 94 hundredths times 10 raised to the 13th power cells. A newborn baby has about 26 billion cells, which has more cells and about how many times more? First thing we do is write the baby's cells in scientific notation. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hops, 10 jumps. So we're going to have 2 and 6 tenths times 10 raised to the 10th power. Then we compare powers of 10 and multiplicands. We have 10 raised to the 13th power over 10 raised to the 10th power. That's 10 raised to the 13th minus 10th. That gives us 10 to the 3rd power. We compare the multiplicands. We've got 4 and 94 hundredths divided by 2 and 6 tenths. We get 1 and 9 tenths. An adult has about 1 and 9 tenths, this number, times 10 raised to the third power, more cells than a newborn baby. Scientific notation is often used to give estimates. The average sparrow has a mass of about three and three tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power milligrams. And the average mosquito has the mass of about one and five tenths times 10 to the first power milligrams. About how many times greater is the mass of a sparrow than a mosquito? We're gonna compare the scientific notation. First thing we do is compare the powers of 10. We've got 10 raised to the fourth power over 10 raised to the first power, which is equal to 10 to the fourth minus that first which gives us 10 to the third power. We compare the multiplicands. We've got 3 and 3 tenths divided by 1 and 5 tenths. That gives us 2 and 2 tenths. That means the mass of a sparrow is about 2 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the third power greater than the mass of a mosquito. 
we know this scientific notation is greater. We found the mass of a sparrow is about 2 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the third power times greater than the mass of a mosquito. By moving a decimal point over three jumps, because we've got a three here as an exponent, we get 2,200. The mass of a sparrow is about 2,200 times greater than a mosquito. And the mass of a sparrow and the mass of a mosquito are given as estimates because their sizes vary so much in the real world. We're finished with all the lessons in 2.2. We're going to move on to 2.3, and we're going to talk about negative powers of 10. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for 2.3. Bye.